Welcome back. This video in the trig series probably goes by a couple of different names. I've heard it called the trig formula, SAS formula, the pinch law, whatever you call it. It's used to find the area of a triangle if you know two side lengths and the angle that's between those two sides. Let's see if we can figure it out. Now you probably remember we've got a couple of other formulas to help us find the area of a triangle. There's the old one that we've been using forever, base times height divided by two. And we just learned one called the Heroes formula, which is used when you know the three side lengths of the triangle. Now this formula is different because it helps you find area if you know two side lengths and the angle that's contained between those two sides. So the triangle has to look like this, or this, or this to be able to find the area. Now if you're not given all the information, you might have to use sine law or something like that to find what you need. So once we have two side lengths and the angle that's between them, we're ready to find the area of this triangle. Now there's three different ways we could write out this formula depending on how the triangle's labeled, but they all work the same way. As long as we have two side lengths and that angle between them, then even though they're written differently, these three formulas work the exact same way. The formula is pretty straightforward, but the most common mistake is a simple one. People often forget to divide by two at the end, so watch out for that. Now let's see an example to find out how it works. Okay, so here I have a question that tells me to find the area of this triangle. Now when I think area of a triangle, the first formula that comes to mind is base times height divided by two. I can't use that one here because I don't have two sides that meet at a right angle. So this one's no good. The next formula I might think of to find the area of a triangle is one called Hero's formula. This one is when you know all three side lengths. And I don't know all three sides, I only know two of them. So this one's no good. That leaves me with the area formulas that I can use when I know two sides and the contained angle between those two sides. Now the formulas all look the same and really they are the same thing. It would just depend on how you label your triangle. So I'm gonna go ahead and label my vertices in any order, A, B, and C. And the sides opposite from those vertices get the same letter, but in lowercase. So little b across from big B, across from big A, little a, across from big C, little c. Now here I'm dealing with sides A and B as known values, and I've got angle C between those two sides. That means I'm gonna use this first formula where little a times little b times the sine of angle C divided by two gives me the area. That means I don't need this one for this question, and I don't need this one for this question. Now, as long as we're careful, this formula is as easy as it looks. So this says the area is equal to side A, which is 29, times side B, which is 30, times the sine, or sin, of angle C, 46.4 degrees. All that divided by two will give me area. Now, this can all be done in one step, as long as we're careful with how we're pushing the buttons on the calculator. So on mine, it would look like this. 29 times 30 times 46.4, oops, 46.4. But before I press equals, I've got to get the sin of 46.4. So I'll press the sin button and equals. Now I can't forget to divide that number by two. And I don't have to write my work in between. So that means I can just leave that number on the calculator screen and push divided by two equals. Let's take a minute and just see if we can see that a little better on this calculator. So that calculation was 29 times 30 times, and on this calculator, life is a little bit easier actually. I can just type in the way I see it, sin of 46.4. I'm gonna press equals and then show you I've gotta take that number and divide by two. And you'll see I get the same answer on both calculators, 315.0147597. 315.01 centimeters squared. Remember, area is measured in centimeters in this case, and it's always squared when we're talking about area. And that is the final answer for the area of this triangle. Now hopefully you found that pretty straightforward. So remember, we use that formula if we know two side lengths and the contained angle between those two sides. 
If we were given all three sides, we would have used Hero's formula. And if we had two measurements that met at a right angle, we would have used base times height divided by two. So that's it for this video. Hopefully it helped.